Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacat. In this video, I'm going to show you a method that you can clean up your model, meaning that you can remove all unused fields and columns and measures or hide those columns that are not uh, useful for visualization in a few clicks in Power BI. Let's go and check it out how it works. Uh, this method that I'm about to show you is using Power BI Helper. Power BI Helper is a free external tool. You can download it using the links down in the description below. Uh, download it for free. Uh, then uh, in Power BI Desktop, you'll have the option to go under External Tools and choose Power BI Helper, or you can open it up directly from Start. Uh, either way, when you have your Power BI file open and when you open Power BI Helper, you can connect to it. Now, in this example file, I have a very simple file actually, but this can be like many tables. You can have a Power BI file with 200 tables. Each table have 200 columns and normally you don't know which of these fields or columns or measures have been used in visuals, which of them not has been used and you want to clean it up. You just want to have fields, measures that have been used and remove everything else or hide those that cannot be removed and cannot be used in a visualization. Now, if you have Power BI Helper, when you open it, you can connect to the model uh, using this connect to model uh, option. This is helpful because if you have multiple Power BI files open in Power BI Desktop, you can choose which file you want to look into the dropdown. Here, I just have one file. And when I select that file, I'll be able to see all the tables in that file, all the columns, uh, if there is any measures, measure dependency tree and anything like that. Now, uh, when I go to the visualization tab, also I would be able to see which uh, visualization pages I have, which visualization in each page and what fields have been used or what tables have been used. If you don't see the file selected in this area, you can uh, manually go and select the file. There are scenarios that this wouldn't automatically pick the file and you can go and select the file yourself. Now, the part that I'm about to tell you is how to clean up your model. Using Power BI Helper, you can do many other things, but if you want to clean up your model, first you need to know which fields can be deleted. In the visualization tab, in the bottom right section, there is a section for fields that uh, are not used and can be either hidden or deleted. Uh, examples of fields that can be deleted, which if you click on it, you'll be able to see it, is any fields or measures from any tables that is not used in anything to do with visualization, meaning that it is not used in the visual itself, it is not used in filters, it is not used in bookmarks, and there is no other fields or calculation that used any of these to be visualized in, uh, in, uh, in a visualization page. So uh, this means not only, for example, this measure is not used directly, but also there is no other measure that is using this measure and that measure is used in a visualization because if that was the case, this couldn't be deleted. So when it says deleted, that means uh, this field is not used directly or indirectly in any visualizations and they can be deleted. You can right click on the field and delete it, or you can select them all and then delete them all at once, which is just like a few clicks and you get that deleted. Now we have this feature in Power BI Helper, which is quite helpful. In case something unwanted happens, we don't want you to lose your uh, Power BI file. Uh, will create a backup of that. This backup settings can be changed in the setting option. You can change if you do want to have the backup or you don't, and what is the folder for the backup. Uh, it is good in my case. I just click on OK for that. Now, this is those fields that has been deleted. There are also fields that can be hidden. Hidden are, um, there are lots of fields. Uh, types that can be hidden in Power BI. For example, fields that has used that has been used in a relationship. You cannot delete them because the relationship doesn't work. Uh, but those fields usually are not used in visualization or fields that you use to sort another column uh, or uh, fields that are used in hierarchy. There are uh, a lot of scenarios. Uh, here, when you choose hidden, you can see that, for example, in this case, these two fields have been used in a relationship but they are not used in a visualization. I can again select them both and then right click and say hide. As you see, this is just a few 
clicks. I don't uh, do anything else. And after these changes, if I go to my Power BI file, you see that my file is much more cleaner. I just see these columns in each of the tables. If I go to the model, I see that these fields that been part of the relationship are now hidden. This is showing that it is hidden. And if I save my Power BI file, my Power BI is file is cleaned up just like that. This method can be used to clean up files with hundreds of tables and hundreds of uh, measures and fields to a very simple method. There are a few things to consider. First thing is that this would consider if a measure has been used in another measures or anything like that. Uh, but this does not consider if you have a Power BI file data set that the columns of that is used in another Power BI file. At the moment, Power BI Helper doesn't consider that, uh, but that is in our backlog and hopefully we'll have it in the future. Power BI Helper does a lot of other things such as documentation, connecting to the service, doing a lot of modeling advice and things like that, I'll, um, I recommend you to check out other links down in the description below that helps you to learn more about what you can do with this free tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.